Ads heard before, during, or after the podcast are not endorsed by Paranormality Magazine or myself unless voiced by me personally. All other ads are pre-recorded, inserted by ad agencies, and are not under our control. Welcome to Paranormality Magazine. Each week, Paranormality Magazine explores all Fortean subjects, from phantoms to UFOs and every cryptid creature in between. Each week, you're treated to a collection of well-researched and investigated stories, interviews, and reports on cutting-edge paranormal projects and topics they know you crave. And here in the podcast, I share stories from the magazine to give you just a taste of what you receive in every issue. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is Paranormality Magazine. We are about to dive into the enigmatic world of Mothman, a cryptid that has transcended the confines of folklore and become a bona fide pop culture phenomenon. With its ominous red eyes, giant wings, and eerie presence, Mothman has captured the imaginations of artists, writers, and conspiracy theorists alike. Here, we'll look through Mothman's fascinating evolution, from his origins in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, to his starring role in comic books, movies, and conspiracy theories. Our story begins in the small town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, in the late 1960s. It was here that the first reports of a mysterious winged creature with glowing red eyes began to surface. Eyewitnesses described a humanoid figure that could fly, and they claimed that it emitted a high-pitched, eerie screech. The local press dubbed this enigmatic entity Mothman due to its moth-like appearance and ability to take to the skies. The Mothman legend became intertwined with the tragic collapse of the Silver Bridge in December 1967, leading to the deaths of 46 people. Some believed that Mothman was an omen or a harbinger of doom, and the cryptid's legend grew. Mothman's journey into pop culture began with his appearance in comic books, in 1967, a year before the Silver Bridge collapse, Mothman made his first comic book appearance in Challengers of the Unknown No. 74, published by DC Comics. This marked the cryptid's official entry into the realm of superheroes and supervillains. Over the years, Mothman has made sporadic appearances in various comic book titles, often as a mysterious and elusive figure. His unsettling presence and eerie powers have made him a captivating character for writers and artists seeking to explore the supernatural. Mothman's leap from comics to the silver screen was inevitable. In 2002, the film The Mothman Prophecies, directed by Mark Pellington and starring Richard Gere, brought the cryptid to a wider audience. The film was loosely based on John A. Keel's book of the same name, which chronicled the strange occurrences in Point Pleasant during the 1960s. The Mothman prophecies depicted the mysterious encounters and eerie premonitions associated with Mothman, blending elements of horror and supernatural thriller. While the film took artistic liberties with the source material, it contributed significantly to Mothman's pop culture prominence. Mothman's legend isn't limited to the realms of fiction and entertainment. In the world of conspiracy theories and the paranormal, Mothman has taken on a life of its own. Some theorists believe that Mothman is a harbinger of disaster, appearing before significant tragic events as a warning sign. Conspiracy theories about Mothman's involvement in incidents like the Chernobyl disaster and the 9-11 attacks have circulated, though they lack concrete evidence. These theories often hinge on the idea that Mothman is a supernatural entity with knowledge of impending disasters. Mothman's influence stretches even further, making appearances in the world of music. Various bands and musicians have been inspired by the cryptid's eerie aura. For instance, the alternative rock band The Mountain Goats released a song titled The Legend of Chavo Guerrero, which references Mothman as a symbol of impending doom. Moreover, Mothman has inspired various music festivals and events, including the annual Mothman Festival in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. These gatherings celebrate the cryptid's legacy with live music, vendors, and speakers discussing all things Mothman. 
In the digital age, Mothman has found a home in the world of video games. The cryptid has appeared in various games, adding an element of suspense and terror to the gaming experience. One notable example is the video game Fallout 76, where players can encounter a creature known as the Mothman in the post-apocalyptic wasteland of West Virginia. Whether you view Mothman as a harbinger of doom, a creature of myth, or a source of entertainment, there's no denying the cryptid's impact on our culture. Mothman's ability to simultaneously terrify and intrigue us, to blur the lines between fact and fiction, and to inspire art, music, and conspiracies is a testament to the enduring fascination with the unknown. So whether you're a comic book enthusiast, a movie buff, a conspiracy theorist, or just a curious seeker of the unexplained, Mothman is sure to continue captivating minds for generations to come. Mothman remains a cryptid that refuses to be forgotten, forever enshrouded in darkness and myth, soaring through the realms of pop culture and beyond, with a high-pitched screech. An ominous legend surrounds a section of Interstate 4 between Seminole and Volusia counties in Florida. This area has been the site of numerous deadly crashes over the past decade, leading many to believe it is cursed or haunted by restless spirits. The stories trace back to the late 1800s, when a community of Swiss and German immigrants settled near what is now St. John's River Bridge on I-4. This settlement was plagued by tragedy and disease, with many buried in a local cemetery. It's believed this cemetery was paved over during the construction of the interstate decades later. Since then, there have been recurring reports of a ghostly woman in white seen wandering along the highway shoulder. Motorists have claimed to stop to offer her a ride, only to have her vanish. The area has earned nicknames like the I-4 Dead Zone due to the high rate of fatal accidents. However, some think the wrecks may be caused not just by careless driving, but by paranormal forces as well. Local spiritualists have suggested that the ghost seeks peace after having her resting place disturbed. They recommend efforts to communicate with the spirits and help her find a resolution. While the true cause remains uncertain, the urban legend of a haunted I-4 lives on, leaving drivers cautious when passing through this area where so many have mysteriously lost their lives. While UFO incidents and alien encounters often capture headlines, there exists a vast realm of lesser-known encounters that remain buried in the annals of paranormal history. Here we'll look at some of these tales, shedding light on the mysteries that continue to elude us. These are some of the most intriguing but lesser-known UFO incidents and alien encounters that have sent shivers down the spines of witnesses. In 1994, over 60 schoolchildren in Rua, Zimbabwe reported a bizarre sighting. They claimed to have seen a UFO land near their school, with strange beings emerging from it. The children described these beings as small, with elongated heads and huge eyes. They even communicated telepathically with the children, leaving an indelible mark on their young minds. The incident was widely documented and investigated, yet it remains one of the lesser-known and highly unsettling encounters with possible extraterrestrial beings. While the Roswell incident takes center stage in UFO lore, the Lake and Heath Bentwaters incident, which occurred in the UK in 1956, deserves a closer look. U.S. Air Force personnel stationed at the RAF Lake and Heath and RAF Bentwaters bases reported multiple sightings of mysterious lights in the sky. These lights performed extraordinary maneuvers, defying the laws of physics. In the world of UFO encounters, this incident remains a lesser-known but critical piece of the puzzle. Four friends on a canoe trip in the Allagash Wilderness in Maine experienced something truly otherworldly in 1976. They reported a blinding light in the night sky that appeared to be following them. The next thing they knew, they found themselves on board an unknown craft, 
subjected to invasive medical examinations by non-human entities. The four individuals underwent hypnosis to recover their suppressed memories of this terrifying ordeal. While not as widely publicized as other abduction cases, the Allagash incident remains a chilling and lesser-known alien encounter. In Melbourne, Australia, in 1966, hundreds of students and teachers at Westall High School witnessed a silver, saucer-shaped UFO descend into a nearby field. The UFO hovered briefly before taking off at incredible speed. The incident was corroborated by multiple witnesses and even photographed. Despite the numerous witnesses, this remarkable event has largely remained obscured in UFO literature. A harrowing UFO encounter took place in Texas in 1980 when Betty Cash, Vicki Landrum, and Landrum's young grandson encountered a massive, diamond-shaped craft on a rural road. As they approached the UFO, they felt intense heat and experienced radiation burns. The military was later involved, suggesting that the object may have been a secret experimental aircraft. The Cash-Landrum incident is one of the lesser-known cases that raises questions about the government's involvement in UFO encounters. In Voronezh, Russia, in 1989, a remarkable UFO sighting took place that involved not only strange lights but also humanoid occupants. Witnesses reported seeing a three-eyed alien emerge from a landed UFO, accompanied by a robot-like companion. This bizarre encounter was corroborated by multiple residents, including children. While well-known in Russia, it remains a relatively obscure incident in the West. Looking into UFO lore and alien encounters, we discover the world of the paranormal is far richer and stranger than we could ever imagine. These lesser-known incidents that we've touched on remind us that the universe holds secrets beyond our comprehension. While some may dismiss these accounts as mere folklore or even hoaxes, the sheer volume of credible eyewitness testimonies demands further investigation. As we continue to explore the uncharted territories of the unknown, it's essential to remember that the truth might be stranger than fiction. These lesser-known UFO incidents and alien encounters are a testament to the enduring enigma of the cosmos and the insatiable curiosity of humanity. Whether you're a seasoned ufologist or a curious newcomer, these stories serve as a reminder that the universe is vast, mysterious, and brimming with unexplained phenomena waiting to be unearthed. Want more Paranormality? Subscribe to Paranormality Magazine and each month get it delivered digitally or via mail in our print version. Paranormality Magazine is a collaborative endeavor featuring works from people like you who have a passion for all things mysterious and unexplained. Our goal is the pursuit of knowledge, gathering captivating stories from our own team of writers, researchers, and investigators as well as from writers such as yourself. Each monthly issue also includes a list of paranormal, horror, UFO, and cryptozoology events around the country, incredible paranormal-themed artwork, articles and writing sent in from our readers, suggested books and podcasts to consume, and more. Visit ParanormalityMag.com and subscribe today for as little as $3.99 a month. That's ParanormalityMag.com. ParanormalityMag.com. Paranormality Magazine's Jersey Beth brings us an article entitled Zen and the Art of Ghost Hunting. Now, don't take this the wrong way, my co-worker said, emptying her lunch tray, but you're so intelligent. I don't understand how you believe in that stuff. No offense. None taken. I did what any other project manager who moonlights as a paranormal investigator would do. I smiled and saw an opportunity to inspire a new way of thinking. It has nothing to do with intelligence, I said. 
There is an invisible matrix of energy systems that surround us day in and day out. I just want to understand them. Point taken. A handful of my co-workers know I'm into spooky stuff and have confided in me some of the unexplained or uncomfortable things that have occurred in their lives, like seeing an apparition, seeing a UFO, seeing a therapist. I'm happy to be a sounding board for their memories or their confessions. I'm a project manager in the healthcare quality assurance field. It is my job to learn what goes on behind the scenes of a busy healthcare system, analyze every detail of a situation or a process, capture evidence to support a certain goings-on, and obtain buy-in from those involved in and affected by said process before suggesting any changes. I pride myself in being able to identify patterns and operations and motivate my interdisciplinary team to achieve results. One could say I tap into the spirit of an organization, its aesthetics as well as its engine. All those goings-on behind the scenes are the fundamental building blocks of any successful operation, be it in the normal or the paranormal world. It's not spooky. It's science. It doesn't require your belief in it to happen. It requires patience, radical curiosity, a no-fear approach to analyzing situations from multiple points of view, the ability to ask why without being ridiculed, and the ability to share an interpretation of multiple realities via scientific data. Being part of a paranormal investigation is more than just sitting in a dark basement with some nervous strangers and a couple of dowsing rods waiting to see what happens. For me, it is permission to challenge my belief system, consciously put myself into a situation where I am outside my comfort zone, and acknowledge the presence of a new comfort zone, my own headspace. And what could be scarier than that? Besides, few things force you to confront your own thoughts better than putting yourself in an environment where nothing around you is alive anymore. When investigating the decaying hallways of an abandoned and allegedly haunted space, there is no hum of electricity nor pulse of plumbing. There are no voices or footsteps to accompany the dusty memorabilia scattered throughout the emptiness. I may be the only spark of light in this place. I am in awe of my present moment resonating with someone else's previous or even final moment. There's an old energy mixed with mine. It's not spooky. It's empowering. For me, inspiration does not happen on a yoga mat or my therapist's couch. It occurs in a space where someone left their unfinished thoughts behind, only for me to embrace them and write about them later. There, the epiphanies I have are not mine to begin with. They are a residual message left behind. Unconsciously, a moment in time replayed when the conditions are right within a sacred space. I can be momentarily spooked, but simultaneously thankful. I'm not ambivalent. I am appreciative. I have discovered so many things about myself when I'm in the deadest of places surrounded by quiet, creating my own little zen moment in a place where others before me have been spooked, but where, in this moment, the only thing I can hear are my eyelashes blinking. Here, in this dark little zen bubble, I can change the narrative of this place. Whether investigating solo or with a team, I enter that spooky space with an open mind and an appreciation for the beauty of whatever moments I will experience. I won't tell myself that I'll see a ghost, but that I'll focus my attention on the energy of the environment. Not I'll see something move on its own, but I'll identify subtle changes in my environment and then question my interpretation. Not I'm going to confront and provoke these spirits, but I'm going to pause and identify my emotions as they arise. Not something scary is going to happen, but I am stronger than anything that frightens me. I think if we could be open to changing the way we look at and interpret the worlds around us, we would be better able to understand the invisible systems and quiet dynamics behind our otherwise routine, day-to-day, nine-to-five lives. The words we choose to say to ourselves truly leave a residual imprint on our minds. Perhaps believing in the spooky stuff sets the framework for a quality mindset which not only can find the right answers, but identify the wrong questions. As a paranormal investigator and researcher, it's my job to learn what goes on behind the scenes of the forgotten details, analyze them, 
capture evidence to support strange occurrences, and tap into the stories from those previously affected by the location. I pride myself in being able to identify beauty in silence and motivate others to look at life and death from a different angle. Perhaps I should make a mental note to add these traits to my resume. In the meantime, enjoy your own headspace for a while, wherever you choose to find it. I promise it's not as spooky as you may think. If you'd like to read more from Jersey Beth, you can find her in Paranormality Magazine at WeirdDarkness.com slash magazine. Are you tired of the same old beach resorts and tourist traps? Do you crave a vacation that'll send shivers down your spine and make your heart race with excitement? If so, then you're in for a treat because I'm about to dive headfirst into the world of horror vacations. These spine-chilling destinations are not for the faint of heart, but if you're a paranormal enthusiast or a thrill-seeker, they might just be your dream getaway. Salem, Massachusetts, where witches and history collide. Nestled in the heart of New England, Salem, Massachusetts is a town with a dark history that still lingers in the air. Known worldwide for the infamous Salem Witch Trials of 1692, this bewitching destination is a must-visit for those drawn to the supernatural. Immerse yourself in the eerie atmosphere by taking a guided tour of the Salem Witch Trials Memorial, or step inside the Witch House where a judge from the trials once lived. Brace yourself for the Salem Witch Museum, where spine-tingling tales of witchcraft come to life. Transylvania, Romania, the land of Count Dracula. No list of horror vacations would be complete without Transylvania. This legendary region in Romania is synonymous with the iconic vampire Count Dracula. Venture into the realm of the undead by visiting Bram Castle, often referred to as Dracula's Castle, and lose yourself in its gothic grandeur. Don't miss the opportunity to explore the hauntingly beautiful countryside where centuries-old superstitions and folklore continue to thrive. New Orleans, Louisiana – Voodoo, Ghosts, and Mystery New Orleans is a city steeped in mysticism, voodoo, and the supernatural. The French Quarter, with its cobblestone streets and historic architecture, is the perfect backdrop for ghostly encounters. Join a haunted history tour to uncover the chilling stories of restless spirits and voodoo queens that inhabit the city's shadows. And of course, pay your respects to the legendary voodoo priestess Marie Laveau at St. Louis Cemetery No. 1. Edinburgh, Scotland, where history meets the haunting. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, is a city where history and mystery collide. Wander through the dark and winding streets of the old town where tales of hauntings and grave robbers abound. Dive into the past by visiting the iconic Edinburgh Castle, a place known for its paranormal activity. Consider joining a ghost tour to unravel the city's eerie past, including its connections to the infamous Burke and Hare murders. Alcatraz Island, California – The Haunting History of The Rock Alcatraz Island known as The Rock, isn't just a tourist attraction. It is a haunting reminder of its past as a maximum security prison. Take a ferry to the island and explore the cold, damp prison cells that once housed notorious criminals. Many visitors have reported unexplained phenomena and eerie encounters, making Alcatraz a must-visit destination for those seeking a paranormal thrill. The Suicide Forest in Japan – one of the most haunting places on Earth. Located at the base of Mount Fuji, this dense forest is infamous for its tragic history and eerie ambiance. If you dare, embark on a guided tour, but prepare yourself for an otherworldly silence that can send shivers down your spine. This destination is not for the faint of heart, but promises an unforgettable experience. Pluckley, England the most haunted village in England. Nestled in the picturesque Kent countryside, 
Pluckley is often called the most haunted village in England. With a reputed dozen ghosts calling it home, including a highwayman and a screaming man, this village is a paranormal enthusiast's dream. Join an evening ghost tour to explore the village's haunted hotspots and perhaps even have your own paranormal encounter. Chernobyl, Ukraine – A Haunting Reminder of Disaster For a different kind of horror, the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone in Ukraine offers a chilling and thought-provoking experience. Explore the abandoned city of Pripyat and the haunting ruins of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The desolation and the tragic history of the area create an atmosphere unlike any other, making it a destination that will leave a lasting impression. Skinwalker Ranch, Utah – The Epicenter of the Unexplained Skinwalker Ranch, hidden in the heart of Utah, is one of the most mysterious and controversial places on the planet. It's infamous for a wide range of paranormal phenomena, from UFO sightings to encounters with strange creatures. While the ranch is not open to the public, its reputation as a hotbed of the unexplained makes it a must-mention for any paranormal enthusiast's bucket list. Poveglia Island, Italy – The Isle of Tormented Souls Poveglia Island, situated in the Venetian Lagoon, is a place shrouded in darkness. It serves as a quarantine station for plague victims in the 18th century and later as a mental hospital, leaving behind a legacy of torment and suffering. While the island is off-limits to the public, you can still sense its eerie aura from a safe distance during a boat tour. In conclusion, if you're a paranormal enthusiast or a thrill-seeker in search of an adventure that transcends the ordinary, these destinations should be at the top of your list for vacation plans. Whether you're fascinated by haunted history, vampire legends, or unexplained mysteries, these horror vacation spots offer a unique and unforgettable way to satiate your craving for the supernatural. So pack your bags, summon your courage, and embark on a journey that'll take you to the very edge of the unknown. Happy haunting, and enjoy your vacation! Thanks for listening to Paranormality Magazine. Get more information about the magazine and subscribe to our monthly publication at ParanormalityMag.com. That's ParanormalityMag.com. Or click the link in the show description. And if you're a researcher or investigator, send us your stories. We might feature you in our next issue. If you have a paranormal podcast, you can add it to our website so our readers can find your show. And artists, if you'd like your work to be featured in our magazine or on our back cover, contact us. Again, our website is paranormalitymag.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll have more paranormal for you next time from Paranormality Magazine. <laughs>